please raise glass before cooking on burners. You all know why that sticker's on there? Because somebody's done it. So I hinted at it in the fridge video, but we're going to be replacing our Atwood range and oven with this bad boy. It's a Greystone from RecPro. Doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. There's no way to get this normal size baking sheet in this oven. Now that your LP is cut off, we're going to go ahead and pull this out of the counter. I've never done one of these before, so I don't know if it's going to be easy or hard. I'm going to fast forward and I'm going to tell you right now whether it was easy or hard. Super easy. All right, let's go. So underneath the oven, you've got a couple screws, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and back these out. Now I'm going to remove this one great looking thing. So now, after I've removed the grate, I'm gonna pull up and forward on this panel. Right. Now, ooh, nice, it's a little dirty in here. Now there's four screws holding the oven in place. So here's where your propane disconnect is. Uh, you'll just want to unscrew it. And to prevent damage to the equipment, you want to put a wrench on both the female end as well as the male end. And then once you're broken loose, you can just unscrew it with your hand. And keep unscrewing it with your hand. And now just pull the range forward. And out. And you're done. So a couple things we have to do in preparation to install the new unit. Our previous unit does not have any electrical power. This unit uses 12 volt electrical power for the lights. Um, I believe there's, there's lights in these handles, and I think there may be one inside the oven if I remember right. Uh, next, you need to open up your glass lid, remove the grate, and then there are four screws. These four screws that need to be removed to give access to the mounting screws, or the mounting screw holes, rather. is off. Now we have access to these four mounting points. Before we screw everything down, I'm going to get all of the connections installed. We've got our 12 volt connection here. These, these 12 volt wires actually came from our propane electric refrigerator install. When I rewired this 12 volt with new wires, I had the extra wires from our old propane electric. I'm going to be reusing them for this install. And you also want to screw in your propane line. Now that we've made our electrical connection with the wire nuts, we're going to test and make sure that we have power. Looks like we do. 
So same thing when screwing in the propane. You wanna get it hand tight first and then two wrenches and make it snug. Next, we're gonna take our four mounting screws that we took off of our original stove. And screw this one in. Now we're gonna take our top piece and reinstall it with the four screws. you don't want to go too tight because it's not a load-bearing screw it's just securing the top portion into the stove cool. Next, we're gonna put the grate on and we are done that looks so much sleeker all right so this is that same pan that we had in the other fridge or in the <laughs> fridge, yes. The other, it's the same pan we tried in the other stove oven. Um, words are hard. All right. Aww. That sucks. Just kidding. <laughs> Look at that. It's a normal size baking sheet. Thank goodness. Sideways in the oven. Why, why the other one didn't have that? I'll never know. However, this thing is awesome. You've got lights, you can actually see what's going on in there. Uh, it'd be cool to have some sort of thermostat on here, but I, I have no problem with putting one that kind of hangs off of the rack on here, and you can just peer right through and, and see it with the light on. So, perfect. that's awesome. I'm super pumped. Let's take the plastic off. My favorite part. Hmm. So satisfying. We're gonna light it. See how she works. Let's start with this front burner. Let it breathe for a minute. We have fire. First try. Awesome. Beautiful. Like, this is so nice considering our other one, you couldn't light it without using a lighter. Yes, the little, the little, uh, clicky Pizio lighter or whatever. Pizio, I don't know how you say it. Words are hard, like I said <laughs> before. <laughs> Words are tough. Um, I don't know how to pronounce that, but however that is, ours didn't work. So this range stove might seem like a little bit of a frivolous purchase to some, and in some respects maybe it was but we see these little inconveniences as something that could potentially become a much bigger inconvenience down the road. Um, also, we like the flat surface here, um, so we can clean up some of our cooking surface, uh, not with heavy items, but maybe like plastic spoons and plates and bowls and cups, that kind of thing. Uh, just gives us a little bit more counter space. Uh, also having the lights, super nice, super convenient. Again, this isn't one of those purchases that is gonna make or break your, your camping adventure, but it is gonna make it a little bit easier. And uh, that's why we went ahead and got it. So if y'all like what you're seeing here, uh, you can get this stove over at Rec Pro. And if you want to, just use our coupon code posted right below here. Uh, that'll save you 5% off. And these days with the price of everything, that 5% is gonna go a long way. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please consider liking it and subscribing to our channel. We're gonna be doing more of these as we continue to upgrade our RV. See you guys next time.